Total Hip Arthroplasty Phase 3. The physical therapist should focus on restoring normal strength and balance while improving the patient's cardiovascular endurance. The ultimate goal for the physical therapist is to return the patient to their previous activities. Sideline Hip Abduction. The patient assumes a sideline position. Their bottom leg should be bent for stability with their hips stacked on top of one another. The patient's top leg should be straight with their hips slightly extended. To begin the exercise, the patient should abduct their hip as high as possible until just before they compensate through laterally flexing their trunk. The physical therapist should make sure that the patient maintains a neutral hip position throughout the range of motion. To prevent the patient from breaking the adduction hip precaution, a pillow can be used as a tactile cue. Single leg balance progression. The patient should be standing next to a sturdy object that they can use for support if it is needed. The patient should stand with their hands on their hips and maintain a neutral spine. To progress from a normal single leg balance, the patient can stand on an unstable surface. To complete the exercise, the patient will simply lift one leg off of the ground. The physical therapist should cue the patient to maintain a level pelvis while making sure that the patient does not excessively lean over their stance leg. Step ups. The patient should be standing next to a sturdy object that they can use for support if it is needed. A step or box should be placed directly in front of them. To begin, the patient will place the foot of their involved leg onto the step. The patient will next extend their hip and knee while maintaining a neutral spine to advance their uninvolved leg up onto the step. The patient will then step down with the involved leg first so that there is no eccentric load placed through that limb. The physical therapist should cue the patient to resist a hip drop and or dynamic valgus.